The inclusion is the most, one of the most important aspects to every conversation that we have to make sure that everyone's voice is heard. Diversity for me is togetherness, collaboration and uh, mutual benefit in the face of difference. Too often difference only means more difference. So diversity means to me the ability for different people from different backgrounds to share their knowledge with each other. So what diversity means to me is just giving people equal opportunities. I've always been really passionate about bringing different art forms and bringing different creatives together. The energy when you do achieve that is beautiful. Diversity in thought, diversity in in education, diversity in work, diversity in wealth. So we are inclusive of all people from different backgrounds. However, we don't let dogma get in the way of progression and evolution of the human race. Everything that we make or we design is made from our own head. And if it's only coming from one group of people, then it's not really reflective of what could be and what's possible. I think inclusion is uh, the process and the method of obtaining this togetherness in the face of this difference. It involves, you know, breaking down political, social, economic, cultural barriers that we have erected that only entrench these differences further. And through a process of inclusion, we can start to overcome these barriers and overcome these differences. In the world of like forced migration, displacement, refugees and asylum seekers, there's vast amounts of politics in how we categorize different people and the different reasons they're fleeing their countries. If they're below a certain age, we give them more support or less support. If they're from a certain country, we give them more support. If they they come here via a legal process and we give them more support as refugees. If they come as asylum seekers, then they get virtually no support. So inclusion for me involves treating everyone the same and not dividing people into these abstract categories that only cause people harm and oppression. The only way we can move forward and pass these barriers is to have an individual sense of belonging to the earth firstly and then to us humans as a kind, but then have a collective sense of belonging and a collective sense of consciousness. In an ideal world, everyone should be treated with respect. If someone has a dream, like there should just be that encouragement behind them. In an ideal world, we treat each other with compassion, care and a mutual respect whereby no one person is perceived as more important. We will treat each other based on interest, based on how uh, we perceive ourselves, you know, we will treat each other with love and more love and some extra love on top of that love.